very interesting. <laughs> Bright and early, our backpacks were tied onto the back of our motorbike taxis and we headed off to Monkey Bay to board the Ilala Ferry. Got the tickets. Got the tickets. For the cabin? Yeah, we got the cabin. Phew! Yeah, we had like a full list and everything. Okay, and that's good. Couldn't find it, so I got a little bit worrying, but yeah, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> well, at least it's semi organized. Yeah, not too bad. Even though there's like a ton of people, yeah. So we walk into the ferry, we're about to get on the Ilala. We managed to get a cabin, so at least. <laughs> Yeah, we met some two other backpackers, so they also got a cabin, so at least we have some friends. <laughs> So this is our room, it smells a little bit like fish and we together, <laughs> but we made it! What do you think? Very cool. It's so cool. But we're gonna be up for the next 30 something hours. Yeah, apparently it gets really hot in here. Yeah, so, so we've got the fan going, oh, it does smell a bit like fish as well. So yeah, it does smell like fish. <laughs> uh, air it out a bit. But yeah, super cool that we get to have a little room. Let me show you around now while there's not that many people. So let's go see where we came from. So yeah, that's that's where we got on down there. And they're gonna load all goods and a bunch of people. So I think we're gonna be here for a few hours. We got a kitchen over here. Hello! <laughs> the kitchen. We've got a little view deck back here. Uh, we're going to take you to see the top deck. So it's this three. was our other option. Yeah, this is our other option. This was like the next first class. Um, so you get three. There's like bottom, middle, which is this one, I think. And then uh, the top deck. So this is where people like literally just find a patch of deck to sit on and sleep on. Yeah, I'm kind of glad we got a cabin. Yeah, I'm happy with the cabin. But this wouldn't have been too bad. <laughs> Very cool. Hey, what an experience. Yeah. Another mode of transport that we will get to tickle. <laughs> and we came here on motorbikes, so. Yeah, that's also another tip. Yeah. And the motorbikes were actually, we were a little bit worried about them, but they were actually super cool. The guys yeah. drove like nice and like slowly, we were comfortable. It was such a comfortable ride, I think. And it was so scenic as well. Like, so beautiful. Yeah, we got to watch the sunrise, which was cool. Cool, Lance did make the tire go flat. Had that was one a little too, bit heavy, so. One too many Provitas last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had to stop and just pump up that tire again. But yeah, otherwise it was fine. I think it was about 30 minutes. 25 minutes from Cape Mechlia to Monkey Bay and then yeah and it was only three dollars only three dollars well five actually five dollars actually yeah. with, with bags with yeah we had to pay for the bags yeah. Yeah. now we just sit and wait <laughs> for departure yeah it's eight o'clock so they say normally between eight and nine so we'll see how true that is <laughs> more likely ten yeah but um we just
decided to just sit a little bit like outside our door just so that because um, people come and like fill up these corridors so we don't want someone to make their little spot outside our door <laughs> and also it's quite hot inside so we want to have a place that we can come and sit in we decided to just wait here and air out the room a little bit but we finally got our cruise that we've always wanted to go on <laughs> So we've started moving. Yeah. We've just left the dock. Just left the dock and it is, what is the time? Oh no. Oh, it's 10 to 9. 10 to 9. We've met these lovely girls that's joining us. <laughs> um, yeah, so, so lovely. let's see how long it takes us to get to Inkra today. But for now we're leaving Monkey Bay at 10 o'clock, did you say? 9. 9, Nine o'clock, sorry. So only an hour late. The Ilala Ferry is an iconic vessel in Lake Malawi. It was built in Scotland in 1949, sailed across the Atlantic Ocean to reach the continent of Africa, and then shipped in pieces to be reassembled in Lake Malawi. It officially began operating in 1951, providing vital transportation and cargo services. Today, the Ilala Ferry remains a lifeline for the communities living around the lake, providing essential transportation for passengers, goods, and even vehicles. Its routes typically include stops at various lakeside villages and towns, serving as a vital link for trade, travel and social connections amongst the lakeshore communities. Despite its age, it continues to play a crucial role in the region's transportation network and has also become a budget backpacker's bucket list form of transport to experience. Are you enjoying our beautiful aircon room? It's like a sauna in there. <laughs> Yeah, it's freaking hot. Oh, it's so hot. I'm so glad we're on this level though, so that we have some sort of shade because upstairs it is hella. Yeah, it's a little bit ridiculous. Like I'm, I'm on the verge of accepting the 1,000 uh, quadrants, honestly. So they want us to pay 1,000 quadrants to like jump in the water and then use their boat to like climb back onto the big boat. Crazy, but I think almost worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so hot. So far, so good. Yeah, we had an awesome afternoon. That was so much fun. So we stopped off only at one po um, point, or whatever you call it, Port. so far here, yeah. called Chipoka. And we were there for like three hours. So we were like starting to overheat. <laughs> yeah, well, it was getting quite hectic actually. So us and then the other two girls, um, Mariah and Steph, we decided we were all going to jump off the boat into the lake and have some time in the lake to cool down so that was really yeah, nice. it was so nice and it was so cool like jumping off the boat. It was quite hard. So <laughs> fun. It was so much we did it twice. <coughs> and then we even went for a little ride in their like lifeboat or whatever this is. Like that they have here. So um yeah, we they, went into town well town, town. Yeah, like the village. <laughs> yeah, yeah so we went to the, we went to the port of Chipoka and helped them offload the goods onto the island. And I don't think those people have seen a white person in a long time because yeah. the news traveled very fast that there were some Mazungus on land. So I everyone, so many people like just standing around us, the and whole at us. village coming and wanting to fist pump us and ask us our name. <laughs> so yeah, that was interesting. But we've made friends with the crew, so we're having a great time. Yeah, yeah we're loving it. Yeah. What did we order for late lunch, early dinner? Some chicken and chips. Looks really good. Oh, it looks so good. What? And it was only 3,200 quachas. That's crazy. Yum! So, how, how's your trip going? Actually, so nice. Like, I love this. Oh, this is super cool. Everyone was like saying, like, it's hard. No, like, it's a tough experience, but it's been so nice. Like, it's hot, but it's really not. Yeah, it's not like bad at all. Just on the other side of the ship and sit in the shade. Chilling on the floor in the shade. Yeah. Just had lunch, it was so tasty. Yeah, it was super good. And chicken and chips. Yeah, we've been very impressed with the ferry. 
After watching the sun set over the passing waters, Sky being Sky struck up a conversation with a local lady who had set up a space outside our cabin and obviously had to play with her little baby. Are you talking? First night on the ferry. <laughs> Today was really amazing. So first good, good first day. Ready to have a nice sleep. We're both so tired. But good night. We'll see you tomorrow. during the night literally grabbed a plastic bag and blocked that hole because he thinks that's what they were going through. <laughs> and all this was happening while I was sleeping. I'm so glad that yeah, didn't wait. I didn't sleep so great. Yeah. I was on watch. I thought I didn't sleep well but I would have not slept at all if he had told me so or if I had heard him chasing these rats around so I'm so glad I didn't know. <laughs> But oh my gosh, no, it's just too terrible. Too terrible. <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have to sleep here another night. Yeah, I'm glad we're getting off. Our breakfast. Champions. We are saving our money to have another nice chicken and chips lunch or late lunch, early dinner again. So we're eating, eating biscuits. We did pay. 7.50 kwacha for a coffee this morning because we didn't want to get all ours out and open a milk and everything so we paid for that but it's probably equivalent to like 14 rand so it's not too bad we're just waiting we're going to go to Lacoma Island yeah they say we should get there at 12 no, no. it's 10 to 9 so that's 3 hours and 10 minutes whoop whoop
Well, that wasn't chaotic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're on the island, so we have Woo, We made it. We're on the Coma Island and we're walking to the cathedral. So we want to quickly see the cathedral before the boat leaves again. Apparently it's like a 15 minute walk, so yeah. I'm sure we'll be fine. But yeah, so good to be off the ferry for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. No. <laughs> this is James. Say hello, James. Hi, hi. <laughs> we met him on the ferry. You're part of the crew, hey? Yeah, part of the crew. Part of the crew. He's been our lifesaver. He's really helped us with everything. <laughs> he's helped us so much this trip so yeah it wouldn't be the same without him yeah. <laughs> thanks james saint peter's cathedral is a stunning architectural marvel built in early 20th century by missionaries it stands as one of the largest churches in central africa its construction began in 1903 and involved both skilled european craftsmen and local laborers the materials, including bricks and timber, were sourced from the island itself, while some imported materials such as stained glass windows and decorative elements were brought in from Europe. The cathedral's design was influenced by Gothic architecture, with its soaring arches, intricate stone carvings and towering spires. European architects and engineers oversaw the construction process, working alongside local artisans who contributed traditional craftsmanship and techniques. Despite the logistical challenges of building on a remote island, construction progressed steadily over several years and was finally completed in 1911. Today it continues to serve as a centre for worship and a symbol of faith for the local community of Lacoma Island. Amidst the vastness of Lake Malawi, feeling the pulse of tradition and the beauty of simplicity, this experience was more than just a voyage, but rather a humbling, soulful exploration of humanity where the true richness lies in the shared moments and the bonds formed along the way. So we're still on Lacoma Island. <laughs> yeah, we've been here for quite a few hours now. Yeah, almost four hours. Yeah, but we got off. We went and saw the church, yeah, which was, was so beautiful. very cool. Quick visit because we didn't know how long the boat was going to be. Gonna be. We probably could have stayed for another two hours, three hours, but <laughs> yeah. we kind of rushed back because we didn't want the boat to leave us behind. Yeah. But we have now put the mattress out on the side on the passageway, the corridor, um, so that the four of us can just chill with the view. And also hide, hide away from the rats. Yeah, no, we don't want to be in the hot box with the rats because the mom rat came, I think, and took the baby rat away again. So, yeah, we don't know where these things are going and coming. We have a cool view. It looks like it's raining in the distance. Yeah. So that's Mozambique. Yeah, that's most of it. Everyone's been doing their laundry and just hanging in casually in the corridor. Hey, it's been a good day. Very interesting because this is like their normal mode of transport. So, yeah. yeah, it's crazy for us, but it's so interesting to be involved with it. Well, oh, and we wanted to take another swim and we like were literally about to get in the water and then we saw they started dumping the toilet water into the yeah we saw some terrible things yeah floating and, so we didn't yeah. swim <laughs> and also i think lacoma is a big fishing village because the amount of capenta that it has boarded the ship is disgusting like yeah, we can literally just smell capenta now so yeah that's great too <laughs> But otherwise, all good. I think you guys should maybe put that yeah, away. <laughs> Absolutely boring. I found a nice dry spot. <laughs> We finally arrived to Nkata Bay at 2am in the morning. 
Follow along to hear about our intense experience of getting off the ferry.